MPL presents Quick Buzz Live, and what I'm doing right now is picking the IPL team for the overseas players for 2019. There have been some fabulous overseas players over the years. This year, I wonder who your team is. Here's mine. I'll start off with the bowlers. They're important because you want to defend scores. You want to make sure teams don't get um, too many when you've uh, sent them into bat. With the new ball, Kajiso Rabada and Lasit Malinga. Absolutely fabulous. Rabada, young gun, new on the scene. He's been around a couple of years, but he's still relatively new. Gets wickets, bowls fast, really fast and accurate. Economical as well. Malinga, despite having to go to Sri Lanka and back a few times, doesn't matter. Every time he's got ball in hand, with new ball in hand, gets wickets and that's what you want as well. Difficult for players over the seasons to be able to play him and this season's been absolutely no different. Next man in can float in the lineup, can bowl with the new ball, can bowl at the back end, can bowl in the middle as well and what he does is get wickets very economically. Jofra Archer. Yeah and I reckon he is a find for whichever team he plays for those Yorkers are impressive, right in there, quick at 145. Then how do we balance this um, bowling lineup? Spin. We're in India, spin's always a big factor. And you know what? With the overseas players, it's been leg spin. Leg spin's been fantastic. Who? Imran Tahir. Old, yeah, you can say old, I'll say uh, seasoned. Uh, I'll say still effective. Second on the list, and as far as um, wicket takers, fabulous. You would have him in your team, he'd probably be the first guy there because I think he's actually got the best economy rate. I'll just check it actually. 6.51. He's rivaled by another leggy, Rashid Khan. He's 6.46. The old and the young together in combination would be absolutely fabulous. That's, that's as far as the bowling is concerned. K Rashid Khan, Jofra Archer, Kakiso Rabada, Imran Tahir, and Lasit Malinga. Who bats? Okay, partnership at the top, I'm sure you'd pick the same one. Besto Warner for SRH, just fabulous. You don't need to say anything, you don't want anybody else there. Who come in at three, I'll drop down um, Mumbai Indians opener, Quinton de Kock, and put him at number three. Uh, he could keep wicket, maybe free uh, Besto from the gloves, let him concentrate on his batting. At four, ABD, everybody loves him in India and everywhere else around the world. He's been fabulous, despite RCB being quite rubbish, actually, throughout the season, despite the wins at the back end. And then, Moen Ali, big impact on, um, on the tournament, turned up, got a chance, got out, batted in out of position, then went batted in position. Fabulous 66, I remember, actually, um, at Eden Gardens. It was really, really good. And striking it nicely can provide you some off-spin as well if you need that sixth bowler. Then, we've got another bowler, seventh bowler. Andre Russell, I know you have him in your team. Unbelievable. Who strikes at more than 200? Who has a player in their team striking at more than 200 and then doesn't make the playoffs? I don't know how Kolkata Knight Riders have done that. That's my 11. I'll run through them. David Warner, Johnny Bairstow, Quinton de Kock, A.B. de Villiers, Moen Ali, Andre Russell, Rashid Khan, Jofra Archer, Kahiso Rabada, Imran Tahir, Lasit Malinga. And the universe boss, Chris Gale, is 12th man. Who's your team? <laughs>